This is Arena Sher, and I will be uh, going to talk about our uh, EMMC SD protocol analyzer. Uh, so to begin with, uh, uh, this is our uh, main protocol analyzer box, uh, which uh, analyzes EM EMMC SD and SDIO protocols. Along with this, we also provide you uh, another uh, small unit, which is uh, an active probe unit which is used to probe the interface signals. The other major component is uh, the probes itself. So we provide you a set of uh, uh, cables which uh, we use to probe the interface signals. Uh, now coming uh, to the features uh, which are present on our analyzer box, if you look at the front panel, uh, we have a 12 volt DC power supply input, a power switch, there are a set of uh, LEDs for status information. Along with that, uh, there is a cable connector which uh, would be interfaced to the analyzer box. And towards the host, we have two interfaces. Uh, one is a super speed USB 3.0 and the other one is a gigabit uh, Ethernet interface. Uh, we also have a reset switch. Uh, coming on to the rear panel, uh, we have uh, uh, facility to basically take out a trigger out signal. It can be used to trigger uh, any other instruments and we can also uh, take any other external input signals to the analyzer box. The other two connectors are for factory use. Uh, now coming to the details of the active probe unit. Uh, towards the uh, analyzer main unit we have the cable connector and towards the interface we have the probe connector. So uh, the analyzer box and the uh, probe unit gets connected using uh, this high speed uh, coaxial cable would as I said would be interfaced to the main analyzer unit. So this is how they get connected. So on the interface side for actually probing the interface signals we use the uh, fly wires probes provided so it goes uh, onto the probe connector so on these uh, probes we need to uh, basically use uh, to probe the interface signals this is a test setup uh, in this case we are connected the DVT to the protocol analyzer so the DVT is, uh, is an outright board uh, where we have bought out um, EMMC signals to a test point and these signals are probed using the flying probe leads by the active probe and this active probe is in turn connected to the main unit using the high speed coax. You can launch the application. You can make a selection of uh, live channel analysis or recorded data. You can connect to the host system using Ethernet or USB 3.0. Once you connect it, click on OK. Software will look for the hardware and then will get connected. It. So it will do some self test and check for ready capture. So you can select device type EMMC. SD or SDIO in case of EMMC you can uh, check for uh, boot data it could be 4 bit 8 bit then you can select the operating voltage 1.8 volt then you can go to setup panel you can view command or data or command and data then you can capture in auto mode in this case it will capture whatever is uh, happening in the interface once you click on uh, start it will start capturing now we are turning on the outright board it will show the protocol activities so on the first column you have serial number 
timestamp and uh, command respond data on the fourth column you have a type of command then you have description of the commands whether it is a type of command a response or a data then you have arguments of command or data CRC value stop it on the next column you have frequency of operation for each command and whether it is a pass or a fail then you have timing values on the last column you can scroll down and look at the content at the decoding of argument by clicking on arrow mark this is another one you can scroll down and uh, maybe click on uh, operating condition argument it will show you all the decode of argument so this provides more detailed information you can scroll down it has captured lot of data and uh, as we scroll down you can maybe look for a switch command and then it is switching to 50 megahertz then you may be have getting some tuning commands data packets maybe having some uh, details about the Android board you can see it's ASCII character and the X values and the address point you can scroll down the data blocks it will show all data blocks you can export these all data blocks to a text file and save it to desktop or any location you can search for a command response uh, we, we are trying to search for command 21 it's a tuning command and uh, here it is so you can go to the data block and check whether it is a tuning block is sending the right data bytes for tuning purpose and in this case order is sending it as per uh, uh, EMMC spec then you have a filter feature uh, filter will uh, eliminate the decoded data which you don't want to see in this case uh, we are removed all the data blocks and we can only focusing on command and uh, response so we can reset and get the data block back so the protocol and analyzer will capture a lot of data so to in order to view the data uh, at a glance we provide analytics feature where we show command response data and the frequency of operation or a uh, duration of acquisition where we can note that uh, frequency start from 400 kilohertz then at 50 goes back to 0 and goes to 174 you can also search for a command uh, in this uh, analytics view you can zoom in and uh, see things in more detail you can also place vertical cursors and uh, horizontal cursor mainly device info so where you can see the decoding of registers CID register CST register and also protocol test any reserve commands are there CRC are there you can very quickly make out that so let us focus on triggering so select simple 
and you can trigger on command respaw for any of the CRC errors so in this case we are setting trigger on command 21 and uh, turning on hard write when this event took place it will display the decoded uh, data and you can observe that command 21 is at, uh, on the first row and uh, it is labeled as T so you can stop analysis you can also set trigger on a response so we are trying to set a trigger on a response for command 18 and click on run waiting for trigger so here is a response for command 18 you can also set duration if you want to capture for 4 second so click on run it's waiting for trigger activity for 4 second you can capture the data you have a lot of commands response and data which is very difficult to analyze when we want to focus on only on data so what we can do is in setup we can only select uh, decoding of data and then click on run the so protocol analyzer will only capture data transactions and display it for you now you can export each of these blocks uh, to a text file for uh, analysis you can also make uh, offline analysis when you have a lot of data and uh, you want to come back to your uh, workstation want to analyze you can save and bring the file to your workstation and uh, recall that in uh, EMMC protocol analyzer software and uh, you can give the uh, path and click on run it will take the acquired data analyze it and display it for you now you have all the capabilities of decoding argument looking at uh, analytics searching for uh, errors and different protocol activities this provides a lot of flexibility analyzing EMMC or SD or SDIO data at your convenience thank you